Welcome back, Internet. It's a pretty decent looking morning out here. It's going to be uh, in the mid to upper 50s today, which is pretty nice this time of year for us. So we're going to be doing a bunch of work. One of the things we're going to be doing is getting the digger or the field cultivator ready to do some tillage. And we can walk you through that later. Uh, right now it's early morning, so it is a little bit cooler. So I'm uh, doing things inside the shop here. And the first thing I'm doing is working on getting the planter ready. Uh, we're putting the corn plates in that right now. Uh, that's the first thing I'm going to be doing, and I'll kind of show you what that consists of. One of the next things I'll be doing later today is putting the computer systems in that and getting those ready to go. And I can kind of go through some of that and show you guys how some of that works. So <clears throat> to put these plates in, we're going to be putting the corn plates in here. Um, some of my videos from last year walked through a lot of this, but the, the corn is held up in there, stored up in there. It comes through these tubes, and it comes down in through here. And it'll sit in here. This is kind of the replacement to the old, uh, the old boxes. You see some of the older planters and some of the newer planters have them too, where they got the, the larger boxes on each individual row unit rather than having a center fill planter like that. Um, so we pop this open. This opens up pretty easy. I've got it open here. It just closes with, a, with the little bungee deal here. Pop that open, head over to the plates here. And each one of these plates are numbered because they're all calibrated. So this is row number two. I'm gonna pick up plate number two. And we've got our yellow side marked here. We just use a paint marker for that to mark the side that this goes on, just because it's calibrated. Fit it on there. I need both hands for this. And it snaps into place, clicks into place. That will spin around inside there and uh, lock that back up. I'll show you what's on the other side of these plates here. This is the side that the seed goes in. So this will be spinning around inside there and each little individual slot here will have a corn seed that will fall down into it. And that's what controls uh, how much you're planting. So this will spin around, the seed will drop down through here these openers will cut a trench in, this, in the soil right here and the seed will fall out down through here and end up being planted in the soil there. So to control the depth of that, because uh, depth is one of the things that's critical to planting, that's controlled by these wheels here. So these wheels go up and down when you set the planter down these go up and these disc openers, they, uh, they don't move. They stay where they're at, they spin, but they don't go up and down like these wheels do. So you adjust how high or low these gauge wheels go. And to do that, it's pretty simple. Just adjust it here. Each click is a little bit farther if you wanna go shallow or deeper. After the seat is in, these are the closing wheels and they'll run like that and um, kind of close the trench up. They'll close the seed trench up. Just push a little bit of dirt back on top. And you can adjust this for different uh, conditions, different soil conditions and field conditions and everything. This will adjust the tension on that. There's a spring in there to adjust how much pressure is on those. So that's one of the things we're doing today. All right, we got all the planter plates put in. Uh, we set up the double eliminators, the closing wheels, um, the uh, gauge wheels, we got all that set up, we greased it, we checked the tires that are on it, we went through the tractor a little bit, cleaned this up, and got the screens put in here. Now I'm going to pull it out and I'm gonna, going to unfold it, make sure everything, everything's cycling correctly, the hydraulics are hooked up correctly. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and set up these computers and uh, kind of go through here and just make sure I set up my home screens and make sure all the information that I need in order to run this thing is set up on there correctly. So there's a little bit of work to that. You gotta put in a bunch of measurements and, and stuff like that. So we got the planter out, got it unfolded. I got the computer set up here. Um, and I, I didn't wanna show you guys when I was unfolding that because the first time you do it, uh, it gets a little twitchy. You never really know for sure what you're doing the first time it seems like and it's not exactly a piece of equipment that you wanna just kinda screw around with. So I didn't wanna be on the phone while I was doing that. But you can see I, I set it down there. I'll set it down here again. I did start the hydraulics up just to make sure everything was working. Set it down, drove real slow across the driveway here. 
just to make sure everything's moving good. All my numbers look good on the screen. You can hear the engines running. It's beeping at me telling me that there's no pressure building up because there's no seed going into the plates, which is fine because I don't have any seed in it. So I kind of just ran it back and forth here just to make sure things are looking good and they are. So that's uh, that kind of wraps up the planter for today until we put some seed in it and actually start working with it. Alright, so we got the digger about 90% done, um, but we found a hydraulic hose, pretty long hydraulic hose that runs one of the wings, and we're going to have to pull that hose off, and I'll take it up to John Deere in the morning and either have them make a new hose or else um, splice it and put a couple couplers on it, do something to stop it from leaking because it's a pretty decent leak, something we have to address now or else the hose is going to blow on about the third day of using this thing. You can see there I got it folding up and I'm going to go park this thing around the corner so we can take that hose off and let it sit overnight without having it be in our way. Since we're getting the equipment ready, one of the most important things that we do as far as getting it ready is making sure that we've got spare parts on hand. So we will go through our parts room back here, kind of pick, pick over the shelves, make sure we got everything we need to put in the service truck so that we don't run out. So we got different spots in here. This is where we put everything for the digger. This is where we put everything for the ripper. This is where everything goes for the chisel plow. This is where everything goes for the bean heads. This is where everything goes for the planter. And that's kind of how we organize it. Then we can walk through here, make sure we've got, got everything we need. So I'm going through doing that right now. There's our spare parts that we'll carry in the service truck just for the digger. It's not a whole lot, but we got to kind of narrow down to the more common parts and the things that we typically end up needing. We don't have to keep a whole lot on hand. We're not too far from the deer dealership if we have to go get something that, that we break that we don't normally keep on hand. Another part is we got to have tools. We got to have the right tools in the tractor. So I'm going through right now getting some of these parts. We'll put common parts in the tractor. A lot of these things are things that we commonly break um, because we have rocks, unfortunately. That's usually what breaks them. Uh, tools making sure we got the right tools and things like glass cleaner glass cleaner is important You got to have a flashlight um, Stuff like that. So that's kind of another thing we do to make sure we set up and we're ready for for Getting after it in the springtime Well, that's gonna be it for me for this evening. We had a pretty good day got some things done I'm gonna go home now and uh, try and get a little bit of bookkeeping and some paperwork done because I hate falling behind on that Otherwise you get busy for a month 
and then when you come back to it, it can be kind of a nightmare. So I'm gonna go home and do a little bit of that. We were hoping to get the duels on this thing today, but uh, we ran into another issue. The jack works great. When we jack it up, the uh, suspension on the sprayer comes down too far that it won't let us get the tire off the ground. So we found out we gotta get a clamp, uh, kind of a hydraulic stop, and put it in the ram in the hydraulic cylinder there and stop that tire from moving. So we're gonna try and borrow one of those from John Deere in the morning and hopefully get that done tomorrow. Sounds like tomorrow is gonna to be a little bit rainy and cold and windy, so we're gonna hide in the shop here tomorrow. So I moved a couple different things in and we're gonna get some work done on these duels and hopefully some other stuff inside the shop here without having to go outside a whole lot. So for now, that's it. I'm gonna go home, do a little bit of bookkeeping and when I get done with that, I'm gonna fire up the grill and cook some meat and probably have a couple of cold ones. Thanks for watching.